Okay, in these slides, we want to discuss the other way that charge uh, can be conserved, which is actually the way it is conserved, which is local charge conservation. So let's say you have a region of space. So this uh, outlines a certain closed volume. And the closed volume, it separates space into an inside and an outside. The total amount of charge inside is called Q in. The total charge outside is called Q out. If we say that the total charge in the universe is constant, that means Q in plus Q out is constant. And if we take the derivative of both sides, we say that dQ in by dt plus dQ out by dt is zero. Now, local charge conservation says that if the charge inside and outside changes, then this must be due to the motion of charges through the surface. So there has the charge if the charge here is getting bigger, then there must be charges, for instance, getting going from here to here. If their charge outside is getting bigger, then there must be charges going from inside to outside. But they have to pass through the surface. So this is what we call local charge conservation. So if this is the case, what is dQ out by dt? Can you think, figure what this would be, how you would write this in terms of the current through the, through the surface? This is nothing but the integration of j dot dA. Remember why? Because the area vectors for a closed surface, by definition, they point from inside to outside. So automatically, when you get integration of j dot dA through a closed surface using this convention, you're looking at how the charge on the outside is changing with time in the direction of the area vector. If you don't remember this part, go back to the part that we did we, we, where we explained current and how to define current. So this should be very clear if you know that part very well. So dQ out by dt is integration of j dot dA using the convention that the area vector goes from inside to outside. We can replace that by integration of j dot dA and we can take this part to the right hand side and we get this relationship that the current through the surface is equal to minus dQ in by dt. And this, this is an expression of local charge conservation because it says what? It says if the charge inside this volume is changing, then there must be some current going through the surface. So the only way that charge inside and outside can change is if charges are flowing through the surface. And this equation relates the current to the rate of change of charge inside the volume. So this is uh, the summary, and uh, this is the summary of what we just said about local charge conservation. If the total charge inside the volume is changing, then there must be charge passing through the surface of the volume resulting in a current. Okay, let's just give an intuitive idea of this. So what, let's say you have positive charges inside the volume, and let's say they're moving with a velocity like this, so they're going to exit the volume. So if you plot the charge inside the volume as a function of time, Q in as a function of T, it's initially positive, but then it gets less positive with time. It's getting less positive because the positive charges are leaving the volume. So that means that dQ in by dT, the rate of change of charge inside with time is negative. If you get the slope anywhere here, it's negative. So this is negative. Negative times negative is positive. That means that integration of J dot dA is positive. Now, you should be able to see that this is the case because remember when you have positive charges moving with a certain velocity, the j vector is exactly in the same direction as the velocity vectors. So you get this. So here j dotted into the area is a positive number everywhere on the surface. And so that means that the current is positive. This current I out is positive. So this is an example of how things work for if you have positive charges leaving the volume. What if you have negative charges leaving the volume? So initially, the charge inside is negative, and then as time goes on, it's getting less negative. It's getting less negative because there are negative charges going out of the volume. So the amount of negative charge in the volume is getting less negative. Okay, in this case, what's dQ in by dt? Well, it's positive. The slope here everywhere is positive. So this is positive. Positive times negative is negative. That means the current going out of the volume should be positive, should be negative. And you can see that's the case because when the velocity of the charges, negative charges is in this direction, then the J vector, remember, is opposite the velocity for negative charges. And you can see here then that the dot product between J and the area vector is negative. 
and so you get a negative current. So this is how an example of how it would look like if you have negative charges leaving the volume. So this is the summary. Uh, can you think of a system where this applies, where you can show how charge increases inside the volume and that there's a current through the surface that results in this charge increasing or decreasing inside the volume? Can you think of a situation that you've taken this semester or a system where this happens? This happens when you're when during the charging process of a capacitor. If, if you have a capacitor charging, then negative charges are actually leaving this plate. So the velocity of the negative charges is in this direction. That means the J vector is in this direction. If you take a surface, a closed surface that consists of a flat part, a circular flat part here, plus a curved part here. So this is a closed volume. It's a closed surface. The the curved part. Uh, doesn't pass through the wire in any way. It's just going through empty space. Remember, between the two plates of a capacitor, it's empty space. And the, the circular part, the, the wire is going through the circular part at this point. So if you look at what's happening inside this red volume, the rate at which charge is changing is getting, it's, the charge is getting more positive because when negative charges are leaving, this plate gets more positive. So the amount of charge inside this volume is getting bigger. So dQ in by dt is positive. That means negative times dQ by in by dt is a negative. So that this total value is a negative number. That means the current through the surface is negative. The current out is negative. And that's exactly the case because the J vector is in this direction and the area vector is in this direction. And so J dotted into the area will give you a negative sign, and so the current is negative. So this is an example of a situation where the charge inside the volume increases with time, and this increase in charge inside the volume is resulting from charges crossing the surface at a certain point, which in this case is this point over here.